Hey friends, welcome to my inchies. Today I'm making inchies, one by one um, cards, square cards, as well as two by twos, twinchies. So here I'm just cutting the backs. This is leftover poster board, and I'm just using these scraps up for the backs of my inchies or twinchies. Here I have some cardstock, and it's just cream cardstock, and I'm just spraying some tattered angels on them. And I'm using my Deco Art stencils here. I have another stencil here I use, this circle one that was given to me as gifted, partial stencil, um, which is nice when you have a big one and you can share. And I'm using splash marks because I can't get the uh, misters to work. So here I'm just um, trying to get, <laughs> I was trying to get the brown in the background. So here I'm using the, like the brassy color. I'm drying it up. But with this paper, I was trying to make really unique patterns. And so here I'm just writing just how to art away and stress free and that kind of thing. And just writing a little note on there just to scribble, really, with black um, pen. It's actually like a gel pen, black gel pen. And here I'm inking it up a bit with Nikki's stamp that she's made me. She's got two sided stamp. She's made me a few. I'm using a number stamp here and that one was uh, one from Michaels. Um, here I just think about I'm going to use a chain and throw some paint on it and just drag it around and get some different textures. Instead of just the same old, same old, I thought I would do something. Pull some chain around and just have that dragging motion which is really cool. And almost like a raking or dragging look on um, I just want to do something different so I rinse that out and then I do the gold so here are just me just showing you how easy it is to rinse out it, the chain is now in the um, paper napkin drying I was just gonna dip it in gold but then I ended up just putting in my bottle it was almost empty shaking it around a bit and getting some of that yummy gold all the way around trying to pull it as much as I can. I've seen people do like um, kind of pours with this and I thought it'd be really fun to drag along the page. Um, so I thought it was neat texture that I left behind. So here finally this is working, this bronze spray. And um, that is Tattered Angels. Um, for the rest of the other products I used was Deco Art paint. So now I'm just drawing some circles with that gel pen again and the stencil just drawing some circles around and around everywhere just kind of making different markings um, decide to add some white with this egg partial egg here I broke Easter egg <laughs> and when you cut it up it looks so unique and um, so I you just never know how it's going to look. So I'm adding more ink and numbers to this because I really want them to pop out here and there. So I'm just using um, archival ink for that. And now I'm cutting into my inchies and some twinchies. So these are two by two. Some of them are one by one, which is great. And I decide which ones I like to use. I count out ten of what I want to use of each. And there we go. So then I start gluing them to the back just so then they have a secure and they're straight, strong, making sure I got the right um, measurements. And I just start gluing these backs to them here. And that's how they're looking. So that was really, really cool. So now I'm making out my edges. I'm just using, um, I don't even know, some cheap stamp pendus or something like that I don't know from Walmart and this is an old pad that I'm using and it's easy to handle so I just thought I'd use that I'd like to use that now I'm just kind of um, trying to think of what I want to do with these just trying to show you guys what they look like but that didn't work too well with my focus um, I was gonna go through some papers here at this point but then I decided just to put some eyelets through some of them I just got that feeling that I wanted to do different colors gold bronze and silver eyelets and have some kind of metallic or metal or I don't know 
thing going on there and that's just where I was going I had no um, intentions of doing this it just went with the flow so I'm just putting those in in different spots on some of them um, I do hammer them down a little bit on the backs after to make sure they're nice and flat and not sharp if they're put in between paper or I'm on a card or anything like that so here is the eyelets that I do and this one here has three so I just do a few of them um, just differently different colors and push those down in there and then I also decide to do some staples so it's going really with the, the metallic look or metal look or something um, so I ended up putting some staples in some of them so I ended up turning them over and hammering those down too to make them nice and safe for handling and so they would go on cards or anything I wanted to put them on afterwards so I did that and then I decided to grab something else after that on a few of them I decided to do some different um, paper clips so I was going to just push them on but then I thought that just didn't look right so what I did was I used um, Aileen's jewelry gel pendant um, Aileen's pendant gel which I'm not sure if they make it anymore but I still have some from a while back I don't use it very often and I just put those down with that the large paper clips and small paper clips on the inside so it looked pretty cool double them up and then I just did a, a small one on one of the smaller inches the small paper clip here I decide to start cutting up some pictures um, I got from seven gypsies and I just put them on my inches just chop them up and put them on there um, and twinchies to I don't know there was no look I was going for I was just having fun with it I did some buildings some bridges and I did some animals so um, different things like that so here I think I'm cutting up buildings and bridges um, San Francisco I believe I was gonna cut up the back of this it didn't look right on anything and then I'm end up with um, a few um, um, African animals uh, a rhinoceros and a um, giraffe so I had fun with that just playing around putting some on I think I also put a partial of a plane on as well and some map pieces so it was just kind of piecing it together going with the flow and really playing with it here's my partial of the airplane playing with it I ended up cutting the white edge off because I didn't like that too much and just yeah having totally going with the flow and not even caring what I put on there just kind of fiddling around with it um, after that I decided to start doodling with my um, deco art pens these those were um, I believe they're glass writers but I just use them on paper and journals and whatnot sometimes so that's what I use next and I use my black here and I'm outlining I'm dotting and I'm just doing different things with them here I think I slowed this one down here so you guys can watch a little bit better. There's a couple of them that I did slow down um, clips just so you can see what I'm doing and not just speed right through it, slow down a bit. And I'm just playing around with any kind of design that just came to my mind at that moment. That's my giraffe. Um, yeah, whatever came to my mind, I used, there's some, um, I had gold, silver, white, black, and I just kind of went back and forth until I found something I liked and played with them all, doodled on them. I had no, there's no reason for these, there was just play, and um, I don't have, didn't have a story behind it or anything, I just had fun with it, and kind of went with the flow of how things were turning out. I think that's fun. Um, I don't know what they could be used for, but it's just fun and you could probably put them on canvas. I, I was thinking they all looked really cute together on the card stock that I put when I took the pictures, and which will, if you guys check them out at the end, you'll see the pictures of them all. And yeah.
There I am. Um, the silver really, I really ended up liking the way the silver looked as well, doing the edges. So I just went back and forth and really had fun with those. So at the very end of this here, let's see what I did next. <laughs> I'm trying to think. I think it's just, just more. Oh, I did add some um, water um, graphite here next. And just shading up some of the pieces here. So there's my little graphite cube there. And I'm just shading around the buildings a bit. Just add some depth and around some of the pictures and that kind of thing and that was about it for that that I have on here sorry about my dogs <laughs> and um, I show you a picture of it at the end I do spray a little bit of um, a sheen uh, sealer glossy sealer and um, I also um, you, may, you can't see it on the picture because I didn't do it till after, but I added a, a crackle um, paste gel on the rhinoceros and the giraffe. So I thought that would be cute, and I think on the airplane as well, just to get a little bit more of a different texture. Um, I went around the gr grommets to the eyelets with this, um, and just thought it was really neat. Highlight or low light some of the pieces, just make it different look and make it pop. Well, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this um, little inchy, twinchy fun here that I've had. And check out my videos at the end. And thank you guys for watching. Bye-bye.